fabulous racing like that. Wonderful speedway. Glorious sunny day, Blaster Cases of Somerset Rebels as the 2019 team came together for the first time for the official press and practice day. Before we join MC Spencer Bishop at the evening's Meet the Fans session, Speedway Porter's Andy Hay caught up with the Rebels teenage duo of Henry Atkins and Andy Lowe. We're joined with Henry Atkins here then, just uh, after the press and practice day here for the Somerset Rebels. A lot of track time today, that will go well? Yeah, it went really well. I um, tried my first engine out and yeah, it felt really fast. And then um, obviously because of the weather, the track got a bit dry, so I done a few tweaks and um, went on the spare bike and they both pull in really nicely, so I can't wait now. You put a lot of laps in last week as well at the open practice session, so uh, did you learn a lot from that to bring here today? Yeah, definitely, because the track was completely different last week. It was a bit more grippy, just because you haven't had the sun, but no, I've... Um, I know two setups now for slick and the grip round here, so should be good. Now, it is a pretty big move coming from the uh, the National League into uh, the Championship, so uh, you're up for this challenge? Yeah, definitely. I um, rode for Somerset as a mascot for about nine, ten years, so I know the track pretty well, and it'd be good to go around the other tracks with the other boys and get a load of tips off them. But it'd be a big step up, but it should be really good. We've seen you spend a lot of time with the other riders in the team today. The team's gelling quite well already uh, off track. Did you get some good advice there from the uh, from the other lads? Yeah, definitely. They were just telling telling me about sort of jet sizing, sprocket sizing, just to get the bike to grip a bit more. And um, I think we're going for a meal later, so <laughs> that'd be nice just to do some bonding over that. But no, they're um, they're all brilliant boys, and I just can't wait to start the season off with them now. Well, we'll let you go. Enjoy your meal. We'll see you tonight. Cheers, thank you. And as you've been out on track today, you have got some laps in, but a little bit of frustration out there today. Yeah, got a good couple of laps in on my second bike. Um, went out for my first practice, didn't feel, I felt good, but bike was spinning a little bit. Now I come back in and changed a couple of bits. And then I went out for my second one on my, <clears throat> my first bike for here. I uh, did for half a lap on a new engine and it blew up, so come out the bottom. So not the best of starts, but got on my second one, it felt awesome, so. Well, we were filming from the other side of the stadium. We could feel your frustration as you go around there. But the good thing is, is you've been back out there uh, and you've got that set up right on your other bike as well. So there is plenty to take away with, with you today. Yeah, it's all a learning experience, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a shame that it was a new engine. and We wish it never happens to anyone, but it's, it happens, isn't it? Yeah, it's just one of them things. But I took some positives away. I've got a good setup on my other bike that I was planning to... Not ride, but not got clean too now, but it's what it is, isn't it? So coming off the back of a fantastic season for yourself, you made great strides last year in the National League for Kent. You come here, we've spoken to Henry earlier on and the, and the big step up to the Championship League and stuff. Probably an easy decision to make when you got the call. Once you've made that decision, it's like it's time now to kick in. Yeah, it was... Um I had a few calls in the winter and I was, I was debating on which ones to go and everyone wanted to know in the first five seconds. I was like... And there goes Rory. <laughs> I wanted to know what um, first five seconds, so I was like, we looked at the options and we thought this would be the best beneficial. And yeah, it's worked with Kent as well, and it's different track to, from Kent as well, so it's a bigger, bigger circuit which will teach me to ride bigger tracks. So if I go to Poland and Denmark and stuff, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. With Rory Schlein and Gary May. Somerset Rebels team manager. Um, first of all, we we'll go to Gary. Gary, happy with what the boys have done on track today? Yeah, everyone's been very good. Um, it's just practice, but hopefully they're all bedded in, ready for next week. Yep, so you happy man? Yes. Right, OK. Straight over to Rory then. Uh, Rory, you've put a lot of laps in today. Oh, a few. Yeah, yeah, you've done a lot up there. Yeah. We've, been, we've been recording them all. Um, great speed, looking good. Uh, it's, uh, the track's obviously going to be different for, for race night, so here we go. Oh, um, hang on, we're bringing in Chris as well. It's all yeah. happening here, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it'll, it'll more suit this guy on, on, on a race night, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, everyone just got some laps in. Everyone's sort of still bedding some stuff in as well, so it was just nice to get out on the track again. So. Now, seeing as Chris has come in here as well, there's going to be quite a bit of pressure on both of you guys. Heats 13, 
15 working together and so on. Gaz is going to make big profits this year, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Who spends the most for gate positions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bidding war. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I've already got, you the I've already got everything 15, so right. Yeah, yeah, Chris was very nice to me earlier on, and so he's got every 15 this year. <laughs> <laughs> so really, just looking forward to the season. You're, you're, you're all absolutely ready. You've been out there, you put your laps in, you're ready to go now, aren't you? Yeah, Bombers had some meetings, I've had a few meetings, so it's, um, and next Wednesday will be good as well, you know, especially for the young lads, we'll get some more laps in, competitive laps, um, uh, there's nothing better than going to the tapes, you know, uh, you know, with three other guys, so that's uh, the best thing for everyone really, so, um, yeah, so just roll on next Wednesday and hopefully we can hit the ground running. Okay, that leaves me over to Chris, Chris, next Wednesday against your former club from last year, Paul. Yeah, we're going to do, do do them over, so it'll be a nice way to start the season. Uh, the question is, are you going to do another one of your uh, blasts around the outside like you did at the end of last season? And you're going to... Yeah, it was up the inside, but yeah, no, it's... Uh, yeah, obviously next week's just uh, a warm-up challenge, but um, yeah, it'd be still nice to, to win, um, especially for this man. He's passionate to win. Yeah, he, boss? yeah, I am. I like winning. So, um, yeah, no, it'd be good. Uh, good to blow away the cobwebs. So I've had a few few meetings anyway, so but um, be good to get the first meeting out the way with these boys and um, yeah, hopefully it's a successful one. I think this is a sign of the uh, season to come. Good banter, good fun, good teamwork, and great racing out there as well. So Gary, enjoy your night. We're going to be filming the uh, the fans forum tonight, if you like, when you present the riders, and uh, we'll find some nice, interesting questions to fire at you. Yeah, surely will. Thanks. We're going for a salad now. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Um, but for now, if you could put your hands together, please, for the 2019 Somerset Rebels. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on, and I don't think that intro could have gone any better, Gary May. What do you think? Brilliant. <laughs> Perfect. Right, uh, so I was going to say let's welcome to the stage, but we're just going to welcome him to this bit of carpet, actually. Um, first up we have Henry Atkins. <laughs> if you could pass Henry the microphone, Gary. Thank you very much. Uh, so how many years is it that you've been associated with, uh, oh, with Somerset now? Um, I think it's about ten years now. Ten years. And again, have you been eating the same stuff as Eli? Yeah, I've uh, grown a bit in <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, you've won lots of trophies, you're still pretty young, you've done quite a lot of stuff already. What's been the highlight for you so far? Um, I think it's signing for it, to be honest, because obviously starting here at the age of six, not really thinking much of it, and now riding with all the top boys, it's pretty impressive. You, was it Coventry you got your first taste of, of competitive speedway, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it was how the, was it? Um, Coventry Storm, yeah. That was, yeah, it was nice, but when you get up to step up, it's just, you feel a bit more, everyone sort of treats you a bit differently, but it's, it's much better because you learn more from the boys. How was it, how big a step was it from sort of skidding around here pre-meeting to, to joining Coventry? Yeah, it was massive, obviously. I never rode there till, till I went there, but yeah, it was just a bit more grip, but when you sort of get used to it, it actually rides a nice track when it was there, but now it's gone. <laughs> um, but no, it's obviously when you're riding out at the beginning and at the end, it's completely different when you're in a meeting with four other blokes, if you want to say, instead of four boys. And obviously then on to Plymouth, how was that for you? Another big step up? Yeah, it was good. I went down there to um, learn how to ride smaller tracks and turn the bike harder. And yeah, I've, um, I've learned it, so I thought I'd come back to Somerset and have a bit more speed and ride the big open track. And you're uh, doing pretty well on the grass as well, is that right? Yeah, I am um, on the 250s back to back, so hopefully going to win it this year. Three, three in a row, that's what I want to do. And um, should be good. As we mentioned before, you won lots of awards. What, which one means most to you at the moment? I'll probably say the um, Crash Track 250, just because when I won it the first year, it, sort of, it meant a lot because I was in the adults and I'm winning it back to back. It's just eyes on top, really. Obviously, you're going to be involved in the, the British under-21s as well here, and uh, hopefully it'll be a, a bit of home track advantage for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's going to be <coughs> good one in the uh, under-21s here, give the fans a bit of entertainment, and um, hopefully win it. And uh, what's your main goal with Somerset this year? Um, just to enjoy myself, 
get a bit more my average and um, learn a load of tips from the boys and pick up all the different gear and so the other tracks away and just have a good time really. Perfect. And finally, Henry Atkins, all important question, as mentioned to Eli earlier, girls or motorbikes? Hmm. Good answer, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DJ's leaving, and now if the sound goes wrong, I can't blame anybody else. Um, Gary May, so bringing Henry in, what were the thoughts behind that? Well, he's, he's an up and coming young rider. Um, obviously, had a chance to put him in the bottom end to further his career. Uh, he's a boy that wants to get on in, in this game, you know, and make speedways probably his living or something. And why not? Why not give him a chance? You know, he's, he's every single year he's improved. So hopefully this is uh, here improve again this year. Brilliant. So that's Henry Atkins. Uh, up next, I am bound to pronounce this wrong, so I apologise horribly in advance. Uh, please put your hands together for Valentin Grobar. <laughs> First of all, welcome to Somerset. Uh, how bad was that attempt at pronouncing your name? <laughs> yeah, my name was so good, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here now and very feel comfortable here. I'm very thankful for what the club all doing for me. Because it's not normal to just bring a German rider in and getting everything here and feel like home. And tell us a little bit about how you ended up at Somerset. Well, it was crazy. First, Christian Havenbrock who was racing here, he texted me before and asked me if I could live with racing in UK. I said, yeah, why not trying it? and. Then Gary May called me a day after, and we talked all out and had like a few days to think about it, and yeah, then sorted all out, made some bikes ready, and then I'm here. Was it a case of, yes, Gary, I will sign if you promise to stop talking? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you heard good things about the place? Yeah, I was talking along with Christian, and he was very happy that I come here as well, like a German, and there was a few Germans here as well before, like Captain Kruger and they all was talking good about it. So I'm very happy to be a part of it now as well. And yeah, I'm gonna give my best and then we bring home some wins. Have you, uh, obviously you've had a, a chance to have a bit of a spin around. Uh, do you like it? Does it suit your style? Yeah, I had a run today and really like the track. It's nearly like home in Germany or Poland or wherever. I was racing now. So I really like it. I feel home and quite comfortable. Has, has running in the UK been a dream of yours for a while? Well, it's hard to say. I was sometimes close to get into, but never had the real chance to. And now it's coming up, so I'm happy for it. And um, what what do you hope to achieve with Somerset this year? <laughs> well, it's hard to say because I have no clue what we all can win here. So I'm just gonna go for race to race, learn a lot, and give it my best. Excellent stuff. Um, and how do we exactly pronounce your surname? <laughs> Grobauer. Grobauer. Oh, so I wasn't a million miles away. Ah, no, I'm happy with that. Brilliant. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Valentin Grobauer. <laughs> I knew that German GCSE would pay off one day. <laughs> there it is. Absolutely nailed it. Um, talk us through, uh, obviously, bringing Valentin. Dimitri was in, he was out, then he was definitely out. Um, what were your thoughts behind bringing Valentin in? Uh, well, a few years ago, I went to Liberland with Brady Kurtz, and uh, Valentin was there, and he, you know, I just, it just caught my eye, you know, I was in the under-21s. Uh, I know we had Jonas last year, I was thinking of bringing Valentin in then, but maybe Jonas a little bit better, you know what I mean? But uh, Valentine didn't con contact me. But I thought as we dropped down the league and uh, it's the time for him to come. And he's been scoring points in uh, German, in Germany and Poland. And, you know, and uh, I think he'll suit this, this track, you know. Somerset's like a European track. So I think it'd go, it'd go good around here, you know, once he gets dialed in. But, yeah, he, you know, he, he had a good meeting. I think it was the Old King Cup and he, and he won. He, he beat Robert Lambert and um, David Benigo, So. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he can do it. So it could be our secret weapon then? Well, I hope so. No pressure? <laughs> no, no <laughs> pressure. <laughs> no pressure. You know, Excellent. I just let him settle in and, and uh, obviously he's, he's very strange towards the away tracks, you know what I mean? So we just got to give him time, right? And uh, that's what we do. Good stuff. Right then, up next, 
you don't really need me to introduce you to him because he's been here before. You all know who he is. Ladies and gents, Todd Kurtz. <laughs> so, welcome. This is making me sad, this microphone. Uh, welcome back to Somerset, Todd Kurtz. How, how is it you've ended up back here again? Um, I don't know. I'm glad I'm here, but... Um, yeah, obviously, uh, there was a few changes with uh, the league and stuff like that. Um, I was settled in at Sheffield and everything was good, and it still is good. But, um, yeah, we had to part ways, and I was lucky that Gary um, contacted me and uh, said there was a team spot. So, yeah, I'm stoked to be back here, to be honest, because... Yeah, if I couldn't come back to Somerset, then I probably wouldn't be here at all. <laughs> what is it that you love about this place? Other um, than Gary May, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not Gary. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a free ride for me. <laughs> um, it's, it, the, the support's always great. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a well-run club. Um, you know, uh, all the commitments that they say are always honoured and um, there's never a problem, really. So... Um, it's just less hassle that you have to worry about behind the scenes and stuff like that, and you can just concentrate on racing. And um, us as riders, we know what they expect from us, and um, yeah, we just want to get on and do the job, really. So um, it should be a successful season, I hope. And is it a track that you enjoy racing on? Yeah, 100%. Um, it's definitely one of the better ones in the UK, and um, you know, I think it's more of a proper speedway track rather than going as fast as you can and you know, turning around and the cone and coming back. I don't think that's great for fans and Speedway in general, but a track like this suits me and um, yeah, I'm stoked to a race on something like this every week. Obviously you've been busy in Australia this uh, winter, how's that gone for you? It was good, um, obviously I had a good break. Um, I'd done a bit of riding, um, probably not prepared for it out there as much as I should be because it's quite expensive to take stuff out there and bring it all back and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I basically just want to do, do the Aussie titles and um, get some meetings under my belt so that I can come back here and you know, not have that sort of four or five month break. It's only been a couple of weeks, so everything's still fresh and uh, yeah, hopefully that helps me at the start of the season. Looking ahead to this season, obviously you've got experience of this track and this club. Are you you're going to be giving the, the benefit of your expertise and your knowledge of this place to the, to the younger guys who won't have seen some of the tracks and, and, and won't have really ridden properly here before? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously. I think we have a, a pretty good main body in the team and with Bomber and Rory there's a lot of experience between them two and you know I'm sure that will help me as well and um, hopefully we can pass down to the younger boys at reserve and um, you know they had a good practice and you know they're on the pace and they know what they're doing they know how to ride a bike and I think they maybe just need to fine tune a few things and yeah I think uh, this year should bring out the best in them. What are your personal goals for 2019? Well, Gaz is not going to be happy if we don't win, so I think that's our only option. <laughs> that's the doubt, isn't it? <laughs> I think we'll probably leave it there. Brilliant stuff. Todd Kurtz, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd Kurtz. So obviously Todd knows this place like the back of his hand. What were the thoughts about bringing him back? Uh, when, when I could fit Todd in the team, it's a no-brainer, really. You know, he's a... Lovely chap, you know, to work with and everything. He just gets on with it. He gets solid points. It was just a no-brainer, really. You know, it's so easy to get on with. It's an ashes summer, you know that. It's quite a lot of Aussies here. Huh? Quite a lot of Aussies here. It's an ashes summer. Don't worry about that. You'll <laughs> <laughs> be I fine. Handle, I'm handled Doyle, so I can handle Well, there is that. <laughs> well. <laughs> I worked with Doyle for two, two times, didn't I? So it must be easy. In all seriousness, though, Todd is going to be able to, to help out the, the younger guys and, and you know, he's going to score his own points and his knowledge of this place and how it operates is, is going to be invaluable, isn't it? Yeah, he is. You know, Todd knows his way around here. I, I used him as a guest last year in the, in the top league and I think he got me 9 pay 10 that night. So, you know, when, when Todd become available, it's uh, no-brainer really to put him in the team. No problem at all. Ring him out and easy to do a deal with. He's easy. Excellent stuff. You've heard it, ladies. Todd Kurtz is easy. Just saying. So, up next, please put your hands together for Anders Rowe. <clears throat> I should have probably checked it's gone nine o'clock before I made that joke. There we go. Uh, so, Anders, welcome to Somerset. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you end up in, uh, in this slightly strange sport of ours? Um, 
you know, yeah. ended up in this sport because my dad, he's a mechanic for loads of riders and rode, rode himself. So yeah, he got me into it and <coughs> luckily enough to come to Somerset this year. So I've ridden here a couple of times when I was younger, so I love the place. So. Good. Obviously, you've been riding for Kent in the National League. Do you think that's going to be good preparation for this? I'm just going to ask you to put the microphone quite close to your mouth as well, if that's all right. Um, yeah, it's um, <coughs> good for me at Kent this year, um, last couple of seasons. Uh, Len, the promoter, has helped me out a lot this um, with engines and yeah, uh, moral support, really. And yeah, it's really good for me. Obviously, you've been involved. You've been involved with the British Under National Under 19 Championships, Under 21s as well. Um, was that a good experience for you? Yeah, it was good um, when I was younger. Now I'm not really doing that. I've got the Under 21s at Isle of Wight. Well, I wanted to be here, but I got. I'm riding for Kent at Plymouth, so I've got to do the other way around. So yeah, mm. these things happen. Tell us a little bit about how you ended up here. Um, I had a couple of offers in the winter. Um, and it was debatable where I wanted to go, and this is, it seemed the best option for me. Um, different track, uh, bigger, um, and it's only an hour down the road, so, yeah. Perfect. And of course, Gary May. You get to work with Gary May. Don't forget that bit. That'd be an extra fiver in the pay packet if you say that. Um, what are your initial thoughts about the place? Uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, good run club by the looks of it. Um, track's awesome. Uh, always prepared good, um, even for the practice last week and today. Um, yeah, all the fans seem nice, all the ones I've talked to, so yeah, good. And uh, how was it for you out there? How are you, how are you finding the track? Does it suit you? Yeah, I love it. Um, had a good practice last Wednesday. Um, felt really good on the bike. Uh, went out there today, tried a new motor. I think I did four and a half one go out and then half a lap and then blew my new motor up. So yeah, it wasn't the best to start, but we've got two, we've got um, two more, uh, two left in the bike, so we'll just have to run with them for the season and see how it goes. So, yeah. Make friends with uh, Di, that's my, that's my <laughs> advice for you and the Shref, Shref ladies. <laughs> right Di? Good. Um, there's a lot of experience, you know, sat at these tables up here. Have you had a chance to, to pick their brains yet? Um, a little bit, yeah. Um, I'm doing the No Limits program, which Rory is doing track days on, which is really good. Um, yeah, it's a good learning curve to have a couple of boys that know what they should know what they're doing by now. Um, in the, in the, um, in the team, you, um, it's quite good to have some people from different countries, and yeah, it's uh, nice to have different people in the team than just English people. So yeah, it's good. Obviously, riding for Kent again, is that going to be a benefit to you, do you think? Um, yeah, this year I just want to try and have as, um, <coughs> learn as much as I can here and take it back into the National League. And obviously, if I start winning races in this league, it should make National League a whole lot easier. So, yeah, it's um, just using Kent really as uh, another learning experience down here and yeah, try and, learn, try and do as good as I can for the club. So, yeah, it's good. And is your goal for this year to just improve your average or is it to, to get into the main body of the team? Um, yes, I want to get into the main body of the team right now, it's going to be hard. Um, yeah, I want to up my average as much as I can and yeah, I want to see what a good year can come. So. Well, we wish you all the very best, I'm sure you're going to be absolutely fine, ladies and gentlemen. And as Rowe. I always forget how interviewing the majority of speed riders and speedway riders makes me feel very, very old. How does it make you feel, Gary May? <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> um, how is it that, uh, that Anders came about on your radar? Well, I went, when obviously the point of them is too low, you look, and uh, you're looking for riders at the bottom end, and Anders had a good um, winter at Scunthorpe. You know, they run that winter season, and he won the first two rounds, and then, you know, his dad contacted me, and. Um, and we'd just done a deal and that was it really. But you know, Anders has again improved every year he's ridden. So, but I don't know if any of you saw him out today, but he was quite quick, you know what I mean? So, so hopefully he's gonna improve again. I guess this is the sort of area of the team where the new points limit is gonna be a benefit to young British riders, is that right? Yeah, because most, as the average is too low and you have to fit the other riders in, you know, the, the, you end up with only four, four, four and a half points at the bottom end. So you've got to look at two, two pointers, but look at all the rest of the clubs in the league and they knew enough got the same and I think we've got one the, the two best ones really, my, myself, you know, and um, 
I think it's only Carly Goes here, who's in uh, Berwick, I think it is, who's a, a four-point rider in reserve. I think you've got most of them more of twos, you know what I mean? So, yeah, they're two are really good, and I think the, the best, one the best in the league, you know, and uh, let's just give them time. They, they, get, they come through, you know what I mean? Because they, they, both of them improved both all seasons they've ridden, so hopefully they'll improve again. Good stuff. So, um, our next rider is once again someone that, uh, that we don't necessarily need to introduce you to because he was with us last year. He was the Shref Rider of the Year in 2018. Ladies and gents, Nico Cavati. <laughs> So, Nico, welcome back to Somerset. Um, great season for you with us last year, and uh, you became something of a fan's favourite. How was last year for you? Well, thank you. Um, yeah, it's, for me, it's very, I'm very happy to back a new season again. Uh, and last year, you know, I know I all four season, but uh, when Gary called me and gave me the opportunity in this club, and it's, it's, it's massive because the club is. Uh, it's, it's fantastic, the fans and, and the track, it's lovely. So, um, and, and my last five, six meters arrived very well, and my good score. So, we we finished in, in the top league and now in the, in, the, in the cup. So, uh, and now a new season. So, we're looking forward for, for this. Obviously, we mentioned you were the, the Speedway Riders Equipment Fund Rider of the Year. How helpful to you were, were Di and her team last year? Well, it's very, very important for me, but uh, you know, all the time, you know, try to to, to fight in and to win. But uh, you know, uh, last year when coming first time, it's, it's like a top league and it's a little more hard than the second one. And but uh, I try my best every time, every race, and I think the fans look in this. Were you always going to come back here if you could? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. Last year, when uh, after the season we speak and uh, for the chance for this season, and had the percent, I said yes because uh, I love this place. Um, how's your winter been? Obviously, you've been involved in the Argentinian Championship. How's that gone? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I passed like two two years in my back home, and so this, this winter we will in and my family will back and. Uh, that's good, that's good. We arrived like in uh, nine meetings, so good practice for me. Uh, win the championship and uh, just coming back fresh to, to start the season. What do you think of the team that Gary Mays uh, put together so far? Obviously, you've ridden with, uh, with a couple of the guys before. Um, confident that, uh, that you can bring some silverware back to this place again this year? Yeah, I think it's, it's a very strong team. Uh, I arrived with Rory last year in Ipswich and Every time we make maximum points so for fantastic. And I like uh, in Birmingham with Chris Harris and his top rider in, in, in the country, you know. So, and I'm excited for Valentin because I know him around the Europe and he's a very good rider and I think I think have a good chance in England. So I think uh, we have a good team. I think we would all agree with that. Ladies and gentlemen, for the time being, Nico Cavati, thank you very much. <laughs> After the way he rode at the end of last season, he was always coming back, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Uh, you know, I looked at him uh, during the season and obviously we had to make changes and I, I kept an eye on his score and when he beat, I think he beat Robert Lambert in that Nations at Bellevue and I thought this is the time I'll make the change in the team. And I, we brought him to Somerset and well, you, you people saw him, he was fantastic, you know what I mean? And then he went up into the team and then we, we managed to get him back to reserve for the uh, for the knockout cup, and you saw what he did there. You know, two fifteen pointers at home and away. You know, so um, no, he was a no-brainer really coming back here, and he's so easy to deal with. And like he just says, he loves the place, and that's good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Otherwise, it's P forty five time going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next. Don't frighten them yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, up next, um, we have Rory Schlein, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Rory Schlein, welcome to Somerset. Oh, it's good to be here. It's very good to have you. Um, obviously, you've been riding for, for about 20 years, uh, much <laughs> like Somerset. Um, 
Have you still got, you know, do you still still find the same passion and hunger for it as you did way back then? Saying that, you're making me feel as how old Gary looks. I'll take Gary Paul, Bummer. It's all right. um, yeah, it's, uh, it's always a track I've enjoyed coming. Um, I remember the first time I came here, I think it was 2003. I think it was the first time you had come up into the Premier League, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. I did, yeah. Uh, and I enjoyed it there. And, and, um, every time I've come, I've always enjoyed it, and uh, you know the, it's a racetrack where it is a proper racetrack. You know, everyone comes here; they know you don't have to make the start. You know, there's loads of racing lines, and um, as riders, we really enjoy that. Obviously, you've won an awful lot in your career, elite leagues. The list goes on. What's what's meant the most to you? Not necessarily the biggest trophy, but which trophy has meant the most to you? Do you think? Um, you know, the the uh, obviously the ELRC was pretty big for me. You know, and then to win it twice as well was pretty good but you know to you know as a as a young boy and a young junior it was always a dream to to win a british league title and um i've been lucky enough that i did it at a conference league level i did it at a premier league level and then i did it at a elite league level so um it was always nice to do that it was always a dream to do that as well so um it'd be nice to throw another one on the next piece <laughs> after this year as well what have you been up to this winter have you been racing no uh i was putting on weight for a little bit but <laughs> <laughs> no not a lot i had a had a little shoulder up uh obviously i got injured at the end of last year so i brought that forward i thought that would benefit me over the winter so got that done and um, recovered well from it and um yeah we haven't really done a lot you know had a little bit of a holiday in hawaii for a bit and um yeah just uh got fit got raring to go you know obviously we did have a meeting uh, uh, just Sunday gone, but since then like, I hadn't been on a bike for since August last year. So, you've got a lot of experience in the sport. This is, you know, quite a young team. Do you see your role as, as being a number one, as scoring the points, or do you see your role as doing that and, and playing a big part in their development as well? When we did the deal, Gary didn't say I was one, so <laughs> I wasn't totally, you know, he kept that one quiet. I got him. <laughs> um, it, I think it, you know, it reminds me a little bit of the year I, I ran at Edinburgh. And we had a mixture of, of, of experience and, you know, the likes of Peter Carr for his shot. And then we had myself and Theo Piper, you know, a lot of young lads coming through. So it's got a good mixture. I think you need that. Um, you know, this area you've got women with kids or, you know, you, you need experience. I think you just need a little bit of everything. Um, enthusiasm, knowledge and stuff like that. And I think this, this, this team ticks all them boxes. So, um, you know, but again, you know, leagues aren't one, obviously, on paper or, or things like that. So hopefully... You know, injury, injury free season, everyone can hit their potential. You know, I can't see why we can't go all the way. How did Gary trick you into coming in? <laughs> <laughs> Was it, I, I thought I tricked you. I like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I can't remember. No, I, I, to be fair, I, I obviously, no. with Ipswich um, uh, going up, obviously, we had to find a new home in the championship, and I just started putting the feelers out, and I messaged Gary, and um, a couple of changes happened, and then I was just lucky enough that the slot opened. So, um, as I said before, it's a track I've always enjoyed, and obviously the opportunity arose. And um, to, to come here every Wednesday night to know, you know, you've got a good race track. You know, I, Gary said it quite a few times, and I was just no brainer. It's a lovely place to come. So um, I'm glad it's on a Wednesday night, but not on a Friday night. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Day and five. But um, yeah, just looking, looking forward to it. And again. The side looks um, solid, you know, I can't see why we can't have success this year. What do you think the side's strengths are going to be, mainly be this year? Um, Gary's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around so they can see the hair, go. <laughs> there you go. Funny way you wearing your notes, really. I've said to we've got to get him a hair product sponsor this year. Um, I just, just think the mixture, you know, just the youth experience and... Um, I think that will, will go a long way. Um, you know, we'll do a bit. You know, us so old boys will, you know, we'll, we'll put back in, and you know, and then it, it'll sort of rub off on us as well. You know, the older guys will like, you know, to run with the kids. You know, can get quite funny. You know, take a mickey out of everyone. Gary's no exception. He's, he's been copping a lot of it. So, <laughs> well, I don't, and you've got to be careful. Never upset the people that pay the money or touch the food. No, I've never said. I haven't said anything. I haven't said Oh, crikey. Oh, she is listening. Um, just finally, obviously, you'll be at Wolves in, in the Elite League. Do you think that's going to benefit you riding in the two leagues? Um, I think it did. Like, when, when I decided to, to drop down, you know, you know, it got to a point in my career we, we sort of still want to enjoy it, but still want to stay on the bike. And that was a, that's a problem, especially here in Britain. It's hard to get enough means in the year. Like, we're only talking about how different it was from when me and Bomber sort of first started. You know, we were doing 
just in England alone, you know, 60 meetings a year. And that was, um, you know, in one league, you know, and that was a, just feels like an age ago. Um, and that is, that is a, a very hard thing to, to accept now where there's only like 30 matches in the, the oh, sorry, I still call it the Elite League, but uh, the Premiership and what is 40 or something, just, is it nearly 40 or 40 meetings in the Championship? Yeah. So it, it, that's, a, for a rider, I think it is a must, you know, stay on the bike, keeps you, Keeps your race fit and obviously keeps you busy. So um, when I did it, I, I, I benefited from it straight away. Um, and I was de you know, desperate, but, you know, just happy to, to get two teams again and, um, and uh, ride as much as I can. Well, I think I'll speak for half of everyone in this room to say that we're absolutely delighted that you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, Rory Schlein. Die and the Shreff team, if you could sort Rory out with a Somerset hat, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much. Um, Gary May. <laughs> <laughs> Gary May. Um, it's brilliant, isn't it, to have someone of, of his experience and, and his skill here at Somerset in the Championship? Yeah, it is, you know. Rory comes, uh, he's with lots of experience, he's a good gator and his equipment's good. And, you know, and it, it helped the others out and um, hopefully he can go out and he won and win it for us and that gives us a good old one for the night. But no, he's, he's all round professional. I mean, obviously, as we mentioned just then, his role is to go out and, and score points, but he's got a massive part to play, hasn't he, with, with the youngsters, as, as we spoke about just now. And, and you're confident he's going to do that? Yeah, I think Roy is, is good. He likes the youngsters, like he runs out um, the thing with Anders, you know, and he, he wants the young youngsters to come on. So. Yeah, he, he'd be right, and uh, obviously we used him last year as a guest when we doyled him was missing once, and he rode well, and he's you know just got on with it, and that's why he's here really this year. Good stuff. Um, now I'm slightly more excited than a 39-year-old man should be, as I announced the next rider. But ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Chris Harris. <laughs> That's it, butter him up straight away. That's an excellent start. Uh, so Chris Harris, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Tell us a little bit about how you've ended up at Somerset. Uh, got in the van and drove down. Excellent stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, was, uh, yeah, Gary called me and as I said in the window and uh, said well, I'd be interested in, in coming at the time. He wasn't sure what league, but we sort of said well, whichever league they were going to run in, I'd be interested in. Yeah, when she said it was here, it was done, the deal was done, and here we are. You'll be pleased to know that it didn't take long for this lot to forgive you for overtaking Jason Doyle in the semi-final. <laughs> just, I just thought I'd bring it up. Um, but because when, when we announced that, uh, we weren't, I don't think we were originally going to announce it, but Gary got a little bit excited before Christmas and announced it anyway, and this place went absolutely bonkers. So uh, I think I'll speak on behalf of everyone, we're absolutely delighted that... Uh, that we've got you here. Obviously, it's you know it's well known that you you know you're a proud West Country lad. How much does it mean to you to be riding back here in the West Country? Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, proud where I come from, and it's sort of I've moved away, and I'm slowly getting back home. So a few <laughs> more seasons, I'll be back home with my slippers by the fire. <laughs> <laughs> not, not just yet, though. Hopefully, um, obviously, I think you've, it's fair to say you've got a bit of a reputation of, as being a, a team man. Um, and uh, you've got a big part to play again, like Rory, with, with how these young boys are going to come on. I imagine they'll be coming over to your pit and asking you questions. Do you see that as part of your role with the team? As long as they don't ask me how to gate, they'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, um, you know, I'm, you know, I always try to, to be a team player if I can um, and give advice, like Rory said. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a team sport, you know, you can't go out there and win it on your own. So, um, yeah, me and Rory are going to do our best. It's, being you know, the old ones in the team, and uh, yeah, we just gotta just work together. And you say the boys know what they're doing; they're not they're not stupid. They know which way to go around. <laughs> now, I'm gonna mention Cardiff um, from from I think it was 2007 because it's one of I think of British Speedway's favourite all-time moments. Seeing you win that Grand Prix, just how amazing was that for you? Yeah, obviously it was a it was a good night. You know, it's uh, one I can just remember. Your brain reminds me, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was it was my time. It was my night that one, and um, yeah, the track suited me, and everything just just went to according to plan, really. And um, well, I say according to plan, we never expected expected it to be honest. But yeah, I just rode the ruts the best and managed to, to sneak on the line. How are you happy with the sort of state of, of British Speedway at the moment? Obviously, Ty's doing the business in in the Grand Prix, and Robert Lambert's on standby. Do you think sort of young British Speedway riders that's in a in a healthy state at the moment? 
I think there's a lot of youngsters coming up through, and you know all the ones, you know, that like Rory's obviously doing his stuff now with him and doing a great job. And yeah, I can't see why it's there's not in good hands, but it just needs to sort the rest of out. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> that, that's maybe for a different night. Um, obviously, we mentioned it to uh, to Rory just now about. You know, he thinks it's going to benefit him riding in, in the two leagues. You're, you're doing that yourself. Is Again, is that going to be a major plus for you, being able to do both leagues, lots of meetings, plenty of practice, plenty of miles in the tank? Yeah, like Roy said, you know, you want to be riding your bike more. And say, say we were speaking on the back. When we were youngsters, we were just riding six job meetings and you know, we've always been busy all our career. And then, obviously, when you start to get older, you want to still be busy. But... Um, yeah, we aren't doing Poland like I used to do. It's the two leagues is important to just keep on the bike and the grass track and that. So it's just bike time. You know, I, I hate sitting around and get bored. So <laughs> you got your eye on that number one race jacket as well, I expect. No, not really. You Good. <laughs> you can have it. I agree to sign it. Well, we're doing a silent auction for that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it is for a, a team thing. It'd be good that. You know, it's not like Roy say he doesn't want it, he wants to keep it really. And, uh, <laughs> but you know, we'll be, we'll be pushing each other, you know, we're, we're team men, you know, I've ridden with Roy for a few times, unfortunately, over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll be pushing each other for that, the same as the whole team, you know, I'm sure the you know, Nico here will want to be number one as well, you know, everyone wants to just keep pushing each other and that's what will get the best out of all of us. Obviously, you, you've seen the team, you've spent some time with it now, you've been involved in Speedway for a long time. Are you, are you happy with the look of the team? It's a bit of a cliche when you hear about a blend of youth and experience, but, but that seems to be what we've got here. Yeah, it wasn't long ago, I used to be the youngest, now I'm the oldest in the team, so. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's good, I, you know, it's just, we can all work together. I think it doesn't matter, you know, like on paper's paper, and ages don't mean nothing, you know, we can just go out there and enjoy it, and come away and help you win. Do you think realistically this team's got what it takes to, to win some silverware this year? I've got to have got this man to be here. <laughs> yeah, I can't see why not. I think, we, you know, who put, would have put last year, they were working to him and went and won everything on paper. You know, everyone was saying that they're the weakest team, but then they went and won everything. So, no, I can't see, you know, the good team spirit will get you a long way. And I think that's what we've got already. <coughs> Taking a mick out of each other. So, it's, yeah, it's good. Excellent stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the time being, Put your hands together for Chris Harris. Thank you. So when we announced Chris Harris slightly earlier than I think we intended to last year, you were very excited. Yeah, he's a, he's a good rider, an exciting rider. He's been to a club and you know, everyone sort of wants him. And yeah, we managed to just get his signature and it was really good, you know. But I know he knocked us out of the league, uh, league uh, last year, but he'd done, the, he'd done the business in the knockout cup for us, so, you know what I mean, so. Speedway's a, a sport with a short memory, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, but, you know. memory, not short. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're happy with what you got there, despite the slightly frustratingly small points limit? Yeah, 100% that this team will win trophies. This team will. <laughs> well, if it's good enough for you, Gary, mate, it's certainly good enough for me. <laughs> always pressure, always. I got pressure from the crowd. They want me to win, so you've got to pass on to you. <laughs> <laughs> for the time being, he's been a great sport tonight. He's put together another brilliant team. I don't know how he does it every year. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Gary May. Thanks, I really appreciate that. Yeah. You can go now, if you like. Uh, well, there you go. There's your 2019 Somerset Rebels. We're kicking things off next Wednesday. Uh, we've got a special challenge match against Paul Pirates, obviously. Um, that is what essentially would have been the, the, the Premiership Shield, I guess. Um, that meeting is covered in your season ticket, you'll be pleased to know. There'll be Somerset riders past and present in attendance as well. And after that meeting, they'll be auctioning off uh, the race jackets from that. Just finally, um, once again, thank you all very much for coming. So we're hopefully going to bring home some silverware.